Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Lee Pro Vending. I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about the EIDL loan. I wanted to know if any of my vendors with the LLC has uh, accepted the loan, applied for the loan, know about the loan, okay? Um, so basically, um, SBA is offering a loan to anyone with a business, a small business, um, preferably you guys, you know, in the vending business, hopefully you guys got an LLC, and um, they're offering you guys a loan if you were, you know, suffer from the COVID and things like that and struggling, you know, with your vending business, like I did, like my vending machines were stuck in locations for three months, that's why I had to get on there and um, apply for it, and I, I, I got it, I got approved, and yes, I did accept it, but here's the thing, guys, I, I think, I, I don't know if it was this podcast or my other podcast, it could have been this one in an earlier episode, I did end up getting a loan. And I did end up putting <laughs> my employees, I called there, I talked to someone. And because um, I have five employees from my vending company. And I did get the loan. I did, I mean, I did get the uh, grant. So that's something I want you guys to, to make sure you apply for. And make sure you put down your employees. If you guys need any help filling out the SBA EIDL loan, please hit me up. I can help you. I can walk you through it. And I can help you get approved. I mean, you're probably going to get approved anyways. Um, but you have to apply. And if you don't know how, I can definitely help you. Okay? I offer those services here. I offer any and all services for small businesses, startup businesses, business credit. Um, help! I can help you get vending machines. Anything you need, I can definitely help you with it. Do not let that money go. I know you had to suffer some type of way um, during the, those three months. I mean, it's kind of still going on. Like I, I mentioned in my earlier episodes, it's kind of still going on because I don't know how to keep my sh- machines safe. I don't know what's going to happen next month. I don't know what's going to happen two months from now. You know, I actually took out a couple of my ATM machines because they wasn't even making any money. And, um, after being, after being in, in the locations for over three months and not having access to them, I just took a couple of them out and I sold a couple of them. I'm not saying you guys do that. I mean, you know, I'm not saying go rush and start selling your stuff. But I don't know. I got a little nervous. You know, I got a little down. I lost money. I didn't make any profit for those three months. It's just now picking back up. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen to the American dollar. You know, should I just switch over to like Bitcoin machines I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to get on YouTube and Google that and and start checking that out. I mean, we're printing all this money and it's devaluating the you know, the American dollar. So I I don't I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple months. I don't know what's going to happen. Period. I don't have any power. I'm not making any laws. Um and and I'm not rushing out to go vote. I mean, I've never been so confused about where I stand in my life. I used to be a Democrat. I'm not saying I'm not anymore, but it's just crazy. I mean, I know everyone hates Trump, but all this negative negativity about the Democrats and all this stuff is just, it's just overwhelming. It's really overwhelming. I'm just gonna have to have a a, a sit down and, and really think about what's going on and where direction I want to take my business. Um, but like I said, this isn't my only business. I have three other businesses, so I'm always moving. And um, I don't know. I have to uh, reevaluate my vending business, and um, I, I don't want my, my machine stuck anywhere anymore. I know that. I don't know if you guys had that same problems. If you did, get on here. Leave me a message. Um, 
leave me a message on Instagram, on YouTube, on Anchor. I want to hear what's been going on with you and your vending machines. Did you get started? How has your year been so far? Even before um, the COVID situation, you know, from the beginning of 2020, what, the COVID started around March? So how was it going prior to that? And then we went into the three months of uh, lockdown. And how is it now? How is it post lockdown? You know, I, I, I really would love to hear you guys story. I really do. Well, anyways, yeah, I wanted to come on here and let you guys know if you need any help filling out your loans, filling if you have an LLC, a small business loan, and you did set up your business before the COVID, hit me up. I want to help you get money. Um, yeah, I, trust me, I have all the resources. And if you don't want to come to me, listen, guys, jump on YouTube. The information is there. Even if you don't want to fill it out, which is so crazy that you wouldn't want to fill it out. I mean, it, it's a loan. You get to keep the loan for up to a year. You don't pay back. Well, you don't pay it back up into a year. And then it's good for 30 years. Definitely do not have a loan over your head for 30 years. It's not like it's a house. Okay? So if you're going to get 5000 20,000, 100,000, I don't care. Try to pay that thing off as soon as possible. Okay? This is this money is for working capital. Is working capital to get your business back on track and and to keep it afloat and keep it going. Right? You don't want to just be in debt for the next 30 years if you don't have to be. Spend the money wisely. Okay, guys? Let me know also if you ever consider going getting Bitcoin machines. If you have Bitcoin machines, I don't know that much about them, but I'm going to definitely learn about them. I want to know what all this digital money is about. So anyways, hit me up. Um, yeah, come on here and educate me. Tell me something. Teach me something. I love to learn. I love to listen. I love to teach. And I love to win. So hit me up. Talk to you soon.